A catastrophe at North Korea's fundamental atomic testing site has left around 200 individuals dead, as indicated by Japanese reports, and specialists fear the fall could spread radioactive material around a whole half of the globe. Around 100 individuals were murdered when an incomplete passage crumbled at Kim Jong-un's primary atomic testing site, inciting a scramble in which 100 individuals accordingly kicked the bucket while endeavoring to save the principal gathering of buried laborers. Remote specialists had cautioned a crumple was likely, featuring the risk of a billow of radioactive aftermath getting away from the site and spreading over a whole side of the equator with cataclysmic results. Express reports. The calamity was uncovered by Japan's TV Asahi today, in spite of the fact that they couldn't illuminate when the mishap and consequent destined safeguard endeavors occurred. They said North Korean sources revealed to them the crumble happened as specialists were chipping away at the new passage. A moment fall occurred as specialists attempted to safeguard their associates. Pungiri was the site of North Korea's sixth historically speaking atomic test on September 3. They tried a gigantic 100 kiloton touchy which was around seven times as intense as the bomb dropped on Hiroshima amid World War II. This test is believed to have gravely destabilized the mountainside based office. Remote specialists and human rights activists had cautioned for this present month, be that as it may, of the peril of tyrant Kim Jong un's disintegrating offices. North Korea's exploded its first historically speaking H-bomb in September, making genuine harm the office's establishments. Ensuing little quakes have since shown the territory was winding up progressively flimsy. The Pungira test site is incorporated with Mount Mantap, expanding profound inside the mountain. While the correct areas of the atomic tests themselves remain a secret, seismologists trust they can pinpoint it to a 100-meter range. While a test site could be worked securely at such an area, unsophisticated architects are accepted to have expanded the danger of catastrophe with unrefined penetrating systems. China issued a critical cautioning to Kim with respect to the condition of the atomic testing site. They said a billow of atomic aftermath could spread over a whole side of the equator if the office fallen. The Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Geology and Geophysics cautioned. China can't sit and hold up until the point when the site implodes. Our instruments can recognize atomic aftermath when it arrives, however it will be past the point of no return by at that point. There will be open frenzy and outrage at the administration for not making a move. Chillingly, before news broke today of the fall, they had cautioned such a crumple could spread radioactive material far and wide. They stated, the aftermath can spread to a whole half of the globe. Paul Richards, a seismologist at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, stated, What we are seeing from North Korea resembles some sort of worry in the ground. In that piece of the world, there were worries in the ground, however the blasts have shaken them up. On Monday South Korea likewise cautioned another atomic test at the site could prompt an aggregate fall of the mountain office, causing a dangerous break of radioactive materials. Regardless of the possibility that a radioactive break does not occur, the debacle is a gigantic hit to Kim. The new passage was likely important to help modernize the office and its crumple will seriously moderate North Korea's atomic advance. Checking Bunch 38 North said for the current month, if North Korea were to endeavor to keep testing under this mountain, for example, in the territory more toward the eastern side, at that point we would hope to see new burrowing later on close to the North Portal, still under Mount Mantap.